morning. morning As we enter into prayer today, we're asking to remember Jack Callahan in a special way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We come before God, the Holy One, who recognize our need for His mercy as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who guided St. Bridget of Sweden along different paths of life, and wondrously taught her the wisdom of the cross as she contemplated the passion of your son. Grant us, we pray, that walking worthily in our vocation, we may seek you in all things through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me. Go, cry out this message for Jerusalem to hear. I remember the do devotion of our youth, how you loved me as a bride, following me in the desert in a land unsown. Sacred to the Lord was Israel, the first fruits of his harvest. Should any presume to partake of them, evil would befall them says the Lord. When I brought you into the garden land to eat its goodly fruits, you entered and defiled my land. You made my heritage loathsome. The priest asked not, where is the Lord? Those who dealt with the law knew me not. The shepherds rebelled against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and went after useless idols. Be amazed at this, O heavens, and shudder with sheer horror, says the Lord. Two evils have my people done. They have forsaken me, the source of living waters. They have dug themselves cisterns, broken cisterns, that hold no water. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. The response is, with you is the fountain of life. You is the child of salvation, O Lord. O Lord, your mercy reaches to heaven, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your justice is like the mountains of God, your judgments like the mighty deep. With you, With you is the salvation of life, life, O Lord. How precious is your mercy, O God! The children of men take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They have their fill of the prime gifts of your house. From your delightful stream, you give them to drink. With you, you is the fountain of life, O Lord. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Keep up your mercy towards your friends, and your defense of the upright of heart. With you, you is the fountain of life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Why do you speak to the crowd in parables? He said to them in reply, 
because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look, but do not see, and hear, but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, You shall indeed hear, but not understand. You shall indeed look, but never see. Gross is the heart of this people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes. Lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes, because they see, and your ears, because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. A common response right now when I talk to my parents on the phone is I'm just exhausted. Just exhausted. I've got too much going on. I'm so stressed about taking care of my employees at work. I'm working 14 hour days, trying to work from home in both places, trying to think about maybe even getting away for a vacation. Impossible. Like exhausted. Exhausted is the is the phrase that is on the phone every day almost. And uh, you know, I think even us you know, recipients of talking to people like that, we're exhausted, not being able to help people, kind of being helpless in trying to uh, to reach out and to provide some sort of peace because it seems on all fronts right now it's easy to be worn out, burned out, uh, bothered, or when is this going to get better, when are things going to look better, when are we going to be back to normal? And we know in our hearts that it's, it's still a long time and we have to be patient. That's why we continue to keep praying that, that pandemic prayer, because it's so important that we be sustained by prayer. And the word of the Lord that comes to us from Jeremiah today, in that the last part, is pretty much what God is warning us of. Two evils. He said that the people he's talking to have forsaken him, the source of living waters. They have dug cisterns for themselves, broken cisterns that hold no water. I think when things build up around us, when we feel like we have a ton on our plates, tendency is that we can kind of turn inward on ourselves, trying to bear it all ourselves, trying to bear that load ourselves and, and kind of run ourselves, trying on our own energy, our own sources. But the Lord is warning us and inviting us to make sure that we dig into Him as the fountain of our life, that we come to the, to the Mass, to the sacraments, to the sacramental life of the Church, and that must be our fountain of life. That's where we will find true refreshment and nourishment and regeneration. So let's let that be our prayer today, that we don't get discouraged, that we can continue to begin again each day fresh, refreshed with prayer, refreshed with coming to the sacraments, that we really build our cistern on the Lord. We stand and bring our needs before our God this morning. We pray for church leaders, for Pope Francis, Bishop Lucia, and all who lead and guide the faithful, that they may be renewed in their mission and their work. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us, for our families and friends, those who are overwhelmed and need to be renewed and, and strengthened in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are working to open our communities and, and our essential workers, those who are really feeling the pains and burdens of this time, that they may not be discouraged, but find confidence in the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for
for all those who are sick and suffering, those who have asked for our prayers. May they experience the healing touch of our Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Our prayer. And today we pray for Jack Callahan and for all of our beloved deceased. May they rest in the peace of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for those intentions and the silence of our hearts, we raise them to the Lord this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we cry to you in our exhaustion. We ask you to hear these prayers and answer them through the source of all living water, Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, Father. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, Father. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and love of all the church. We bring you these sacrificial gifts, O Lord, to commemorate blessed Bridget, humbly entreating that they may bestow on us both pardon and salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you in need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Douglas our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my house. But only say the word, and my soul shall be
continue to pray with our friends at home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God, on this feast day of blessed Bridget of Sweden, so we may be ever fervent with holy desires and abound in good works through Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue our novena prayer. O oh Mary, full of grace, grace patroness of, of this nation and mother of the church, church in this time of illness and worldwide need. We seek your intercession for the human family before your son's throne of grace and mercy. We ask for strength in adversity, health in weakness, and comfort in sorrow. Help us, O Blessed Mother, to be filled with confidence and trust in the tender compassion of our God. Let us not be afraid, like our own St. Mary and Cole, who entrusted her life and ministry among the outcasts of society into the care of our Continue to watch over all who are sick, as well as those who care for them, and give wisdom to all who are seeking a cure. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Enjoy your day. You too, Father.